Are you annoyed writing exploits for the vulnerabilities you found? What if I tell you that you can make AI do it for you? The future is now. Let's go! Hi, I'm Łukasz and this is CTF School, a place where you can learn computer security solving capture the flag challenges. Today we're gonna solve a web challenge from a very recent VS CTF 2022. Entering CTF portal we can find a task named VS CAPTCHA. All four guarantees that this system is the ultimate solution to protect your site from bots. But it might be a better idea to check it ourselves. Downloading a zip file we can access source code and the most interesting part is main.ts file responsible for generation and verification of CAPTCHA challenges. The flag comes from environment variable and right below we can see that communication with the server will somehow be secured with JSON web tokens signed with RSA algorithm. Looking into CAPTCHA JWT interface, we can see that besides usual fields like expiration date, our tokens will also store some additional data. Information about the number of solved CAPTCHAs, a field indicating if recent CAPTCHA was solved correctly, and in some cases, the flag. Next, there are two constants generated at the server start. B1 and B2 are two random positive integers smaller or equal to 500. Main root below is responsible for rendering the challenge page. Most of the magic though happens in the slash capture root. But before we start analyzing its code, let's see this task's website and figure out how we can interact with it. Getting back to the challenge portal, we can click on the link and get to the VS Captcha user interface. The Captcha picture is generated for us and it seems that to succeed, we need to add two numbers displayed on the picture. Doing that a thousand times should guarantee us the flag. The problem here is that we have only 10 seconds to solve each CAPTCHA and it's really hard to add numbers like this and type an answer within that unhuman time limit. We might succeed once or twice, but most of the time I was making mistakes, realizing this is not a task that can be done manually. We need a computer to solve this challenge and maybe Finding a vulnerability in provided source code will allow us to guide it in the right direction. Getting back to slash capture root, we can see a few interesting things. At the start, it grabs two values coming from the client, xcaptcha state header and body.solution field. First, containing current captcha JWT value, the latter equal to the sum of numbers provided by the users. Then a template, for the new value of xcaptcha state is being created. Important part here is that 10 seconds time limit is enforced here as a token expiration date. This seems solid and I don't think we will be able to bypass the timer. Our solution needs to work fast. Next section checks if the JWT token is already provided with the request, if it did not expire yet and verifies if it wasn't altered. As we probably won't be able to steal RSA keys, then we can only dream about overwriting numcaptcha solved value. Why? Because JWT configured like this relies on public key cryptography to confirm that the token comes from the server and was not modified by any third party. JSON Web Token is in fact a piece of encoded text containing three sections separated with the dots. When decoded, the first section contains basic information about the algorithm used to sign the token. Second section is its body. Data put in there by the server, in our case containing information about the number of solved CAPTCHAs and its expiration date. Third section is a signature produced using RSA private key. This private key is only known to the server, so nobody from the outside can modify and sign the token. This way, JWT verify method can use public key correlated with the private key to verify its signature and confirm its authenticity. The takeaway for us are two important facts. One, token data is not encrypted and can be read on the client side. And two, token data is signed with private key and cannot be modified outside the server. Knowing that, we can get back to our code looking for other places that might be vulnerable. These few lines check if the CAPTCHA answer is correct and if it isn't returns 401 HTTP code to the client. This will be useful to check if we guessed the CAPTCHA right. If CAPTCHA is correct, the counter increments. 
Next, we can see how two numbers to be shown on the image are generated. Num1 is a random number added to B1, and num2 is another random number added to B2. This looks interesting. As the two random numbers are 0 to 7 in case of num1 and 0 to 3 in case of num2, do you see that? That's what we need. It seems that there are only 7 plus 3, meaning 10 correct solutions of the possible CAPTCHAs that will be presented to the user. Of course, we don't know the values of B1 and B2, but they were generated only once at the start of the server. I think it might be easy to find what they are, but before we do this, let's look at the last important bit. Here we can see that if only we'll manage to solve 1000 CAPTCHAs, the flag will be added to the JWT body. Nice. Opening the website again and hitting the refresh button like a madman, we can observe the values. The smallest are 154 and 425. And that's our B1 and B2. Easy, right? So what's the plan now? Send 10 solutions for each CAPTCHA covering all possible sums find the one that was correct looking for 200 response code and then use it to solve the next CAPTCHA. Doing this a thousand times should guarantee us the flag. Now it's time to write an exploit, but this time, as promised, we'll let AI do it for us. We're gonna use GitHub Copilot that very recently become available to anyone. This virtual programmer got its intellect delivered by the OpenAI model and its capabilities are really mind-blowing. It is a paid product, but two months trial is available for free, so it might be worth checking during your next CTF. And one more disclaimer, this is not any kind of advertising. I'm just trying to show here a lot of interesting tools and services that might be helpful cracking CTF challenges. And this one seems fascinating. Getting back to Copilot, I've already got mine installed as an extension to my Visual Studio code. The icon below indicates that it's working. I'll create a new JavaScript file and let this AI to write the code for me. The idea here is to create comments using natural language and see how Copilot generates the code snippets for us. At the beginning, I'll tell that I want to use Axios as my HTTP requests library and press enter to see Copilot's suggestion. Pressing tab accepts it and we can continue to the next line of code. What I need to do manually outside of the editor is to install this library with npm. Next, let's say set b1 to 154 and b2 to 425. Two enters, two tabs, and we've got it done. This will be a more complex one. It will be helpful to have a function that will send requests to slash captcha endpoint. I want it to be an async function making post request to the challenge URL. Um, sending body as JSON with the field solution set to parameter solution and setting a header named X captcha state set to parameter state. Makes sense. Now we just need to get the new captcha back and we'll return the response header X captcha state. Enter tab. It suggests function signature and then the whole function body. Quick look if it seems all right, but it's definitely what we wanted. So let's accept it pressing tab again. It's not formatted as I wanted, but I got automatic code formatting set up in my VS code. So saving the file should do the trick. Next utility function that might be helpful would be to decode JWT tokens. You can see that Copilot knows how JWT tokens are built and knows that splitting it by dot will allow to get its body by decoding it from base64. Impressive, right? Next one will be to generate 10 possible solutions. I'll just write it down like this and... Hmm. I'm not happy that it wants to take parameters. Maybe let's say it should be parameterless. And try again. Now it's great. It seems to understand now that B1 and B2 are just variables defined above. Let's set initial state to be an empty string and then get to our main function. Create a function with an infinite loop, making parallel post requests. This will be useful as we need to make a lot of requests. And then return undefined if the HTTP code is not 200, 
then find first response that is not undefined and set it as a new state. Maybe report what's inside the JWT every time we'll guess the captcha. And then if flag will be in there, stop the loop. Now it's a big moment. Signature looks okay. And whoa, lots of code. Let's scroll it down a bit. Hmm, seems pretty fine. We can see with the promise all, it will send all 10 requests at once. It will look for the correct response and use it as a new state. The stop condition is also correctly implemented. Very impressive. As you can see, no line of code was written manually. Let's try to run it. Um, report any errors. Note exploit.js and it seems to work. It will take a moment to get 1000 captures, so let me fast forward it a bit. 985, 990, 995 and 1000. The flag is here. And we've solved another CTF challenge in a very cool way. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe not to miss new videos. Let me know in the comments if you're impressed with Copilot capabilities as much as I am. Feel free to suggest what vulnerability you'd like to see on this channel. See you next time.